In Louisiana, the Cajun Navy is preparing to travel to the East Coast for potential search and rescue operations. Kristen Pierce joins us live with more on that story. Good evening, Kristen. Good evening, Tom. Right now, the Cajun Navy has about 200 people already in South Carolina and Georgia. They told me by the end of this week, they expect that number to grow to about 2,500. Today was making sure their crews are prepared. So making, if there's anything we need to pick up on the way, we can. Volunteers with the Cajun Navy hard at work, constantly on their phones and taking notes. The donation set up and ready to go for our volunteers. The Cajun Navy is getting prepared to head out to South Carolina and Georgia to help people expected to be hit by Hurricane Florence. This is a similar mission they've done in the past. In 2016, for the flooding in Baton Rouge and last year in Texas for Hurricane Harvey. I mean, they just come out the woodworks and... I think everybody comes together a lot stronger when there's a disaster. Unfortunately, a disaster has a way of bringing people together. Today, members of the team are making sure everything is good to go. They're also collecting donations to help the team out, everything from food to gas cards. And giving back is personal for these two volunteers. What made you volunteer? Well, since I was homeless for four months while I rebuilt my house in 2016, when uh, Todd and uh, all the rest of the other Cajun Navy group started, I wanted to get back. For me personally, you know, having a loss during Katrina, it kind of hardened us to the fact that you have to help everybody. Pennies to thousands of dollars put in this donation box to help their mission. The Cajun Navy sends out hundreds of boats and hundreds of people. Todd Terrell says their impact is unknown, but it's all about helping people one family at a time. The number is insignificant as the fact that we save people. And tomorrow morning, the Cajun Navy will be accepting donations here at this Walmart before they head out to South Carolina and Georgia. But of course, if you can't make it here to donate, you can also donate from home in New Orleans. We post information on how you can do that on our website, wwltv.com. Reporting live in Baton Rouge, Kristen Pierce, Eyewitness News.